what is up rockers welcome back to another rise of kingdoms content today is going to be a little bit different because we're going to be talking about 50 dollar budget in rise of kingdoms i'm sure there are players who have their own set limit on a budget and how much they can spend in rok but 50 dollar what can you get and how can you maximize 50 dollar i'm going to give you my suggestion here for Rise of Kingdoms with $50 on hand. I'm Shinchi42. If you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification on for regular Rise of Kingdoms content. $50 may not be a lot for some players, but for some players also, $50 is hard to come by. Especially if you are a student, college, or still, you know, growing up and you don't have the job yet. Maybe you got a gift card from Christmas or, um, you know, your birthday. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how you can use that 50 bucks and how you can maximize the rewards here in Rise of Kingdoms. So first of all, go to the shop. Today, there is a handful of bundles in ROK. There is the heartwarming Thanksgiving, the powerful demon god, the intriguing dancer, the congratulations OV because of the Ark of Osiris League. There's a Black Friday sale and um, there's a lot more. And there's the regular bundles in here. There's a daily offer. There's the gem store, which I don't really recommend for you to go and raid the gem store. Um, there is the supply depot and as well as the growth fund. So if you have $50 at hand right now, what would I recommend for you to spend is actually buying this growth fund right away. When you purchase growth fund, let's say your city hall uh, is like level 23 and you're worried that, hey, I missed out on all these city halls and um, would I be able to actually get these gems yes so it's hypothetically i bought the growth fund right now and um what's going to happen is that every single tier of gems in here i am going to be able to claim all of them so you can buy the growth fund at any level and you'll be able to get every single gems that are shown in this page now another thing that i would recommend for you to buy is going to the supply depot now in the supply depot there's a lot of options in here but the only one that i would recommend for you to get is the 30 gem supply but hold your horses don't buy this yet don't buy this yet be smart because we can maximize you purchasing it's a perfect timing that we're making this video and the request for this video because we now have a recharge reward event now if you purchase the growth fund it will not count towards the recharge um, event in here. So another thing is that if you are going to be trying to buy the growth fund, it's only going to be available once you reach VIP five. Okay. Which there's no issue. I'm sure you guys will be able to reach VIP five. Now, as we're talking about recharge reward, you need to top up 2,500 gems. So when you are trying to buy the, supply depot the 30 gem supply you're going to be recharging your account with 2200 gems so when you look into the recharge rewards you're like remaining balance there is going to be 300 so you need to top up 300 more and how can you do this you need to go to the daily offer this is the cheapest one you can either go here and get the treasure of wisdom for two bucks and you can get 400 gems and you can clear out one of the recharge in here. Then you can do that the next day because you can always like uh, compound your supply depot. All right. So that's the $50 that I would say. And I would say that it really, if you're going to top up with 30 day gem supply is wait for an event is usually a U.S. holiday. Wait for that one. Um, or, you know, I think the Chinese holiday as well is you know, we have the recharge event as well. Just wait for the recharge event before you top up uh, using this 30 day, 30 day gem supply. Now, another thing that I would highly, highly recommend if you have a higher budget, more than $50 is go to the super value bundle and go look for the King's coronation. This is the most valued bundle 
in Rise of Kingdoms. But there is a catch in here. You can only purchase this once. So once you max this one out, it's done. You can never purchase it again. So that's one of the best value in Rise of Kingdoms if you are in a budget mode. Now, another thing is that if there are events, if there are events, if you have a higher budget, more than $50, I would say go and purchase the you know the event bundles in here because they would really give you a lot more value than the normal um, bundles that you can get from the daily bundles in here now another option if you don't like my suggestion is you can purchase the daily uh daily chest in here you can get you know um legendary commander by purchasing this three dollar one you get action point you get golden key but really my strategy that i would really suggest to you is by the growth fund you get extensive amount of gems in here or you know what if you don't want to buy the growth fund you can just keep buying the supply gems instead i mean you get about twenty thousand gems in here and um actually let's calculate right so just by calculating this the amount of gems that you can actually get is eighty one thousand when you purchase a max bundle at 100, you get 25,000 gems. So it's the same thing as like buying the gem store. So this one is going to cost you $100 to get 50,000 gems. This one is going to cost you uh, $15 to get 81,000 gems. And this is just, you know, you progressing. So I highly, highly recommend that you purchase this and then do the suggestion that I talked about is to top up with the gem supply and combination of the daily rewards or the daily, uh, sorry, the daily uh, special offer. Uh, you can either choose the $40 one in here. So when you do this, you're gonna be short by $1. So you need to be smart how you're gonna do this because maybe you can borrow like a dollar from somebody because you can't do you can't consume all $50 you're going to be short you can't buy the second the third one of this one but you can do guaranteed you can do two of them with the combination of gem supply and then you can unlock day two and get 10 legendary commander sculpture and then maybe one day you get $50 again then you can do the same thing right or if you got more budget this is a budget way can save you a lot and you can still enjoy the game with low spending now um of course being a low spender there's going to be some hindrance right you're not going to be able to power up quickly i really really recommend i really want to touch this down in this video as well as you're watching is to for you to focus on some of your epic commanders so this is actually my farm account so let's actually go to my main account instead and i'm going to show you what i have so on my main account as you can see i've actually focused on the epic commanders in here so as a free to play your epic commanders is going to be your fallback commanders as you slowly work on your legendary commanders you're going to definitely need your epics to succeed in rise of kingdoms epic commanders are pretty awesome make sure you check out our battle testings because we are creating a lot of testings in here with epics with legendary all these combinations and as a free to play player you're definitely going to benefit on it anyway rockers i will see you again next time Thank you.